Our book for today is Not Norman, a goldfish story. This book has been really loved. When I got Norman, I didn't want to keep him. I wanted a different kind of pet, not Norman. I wanted a pet who could run and catch, or one who could climb trees and chase strings. A soft, furry pet to sleep in my bed at night, not Norman. All Norman does is swim around and 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 around. This is it, Norman. I decide. I'm trading you in for a good pet. Norman doesn't move. Not even a fin twitches. How can I trade him in like this? No one will want a sorry looking fish in a gunky bowl. When I drop Norman into his nice clean bowl, he starts dipping and flipping and flapping his fins around. He looks so goofy, I just have to laugh. Don't think that just because you made me laugh, I'm gonna keep you, I tell him. Tomorrow, you're out of here. Norman blows a stream of bubbles. The next day, I take Norman to school with me. If I talk up real good during show and tell, maybe someone will want him. On the way there, we will see my friend Austin. Austin has a really cool dog and seven puppies. Want to swap one of my pups for Norman, I ask? Who's Norman? Asked Austin. My goldfish, I say. By the time I rescue Norman, half of his water is gone. Oh no, what was happening? What were the dogs doing to the water bowl? I'm sorry, I tell Norman when we get to school. I'm really sorry. He just stares at me with googly-eyed. Finally, it's my time to, for show and tell. Just as I start to talk about the goldfish, Emily shouts, Jenny's gone! Who let my snake loose? Oh my goodness, look at them. They're so scared. The teacher's running and all the desks are flipping over. Does anyone hear of the story of how I got Norman? Does anyone even ask to hold his bowl? No. They're all jumping and screaming and chasing the steak. Not Norman. He's just looking right at me. Thanks for listening, buddy, I tell him. That afternoon, we go to music lesson. As soon as it's over, I'm, talk I'm taking Norman back to the pet store. I take out my tuba and begin to play. I glance over at Norman. He's swaying back and forth. Glug, 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 glug. Look, Norman's singing, I say. Pay attention, snaps Maestro, and tries to play the proper notes. Oh my goodness, my book's falling apart. She made me stay for extra practice, and by the time the lesson was over, it's too late to go to the pet store. Don't think that just because you like my music, I'm going to keep you, I tell Norman. He glugs. That night, I'm sound asleep when screech, screech. What's that noise? Scratch, screech, screech. Yikes, there's something coming at the window. Then, out of the corner of my eye, I spot Norman. He isn't scared. He isn't swimming around in circles either. He glugs and gives me a little wave. I'm not alone. Together, Norman and I slide open the curtains. It was just a broken tree branch. Thanks for watching out for me, Norman. On Saturday, I take Norman to the pet store, just like I said I would. I look at the cats and the dogs and the snakes and the birds. I look at the hamsters too and the mice and the lizards. They all look like good pets, but they're not Norman. When I got Norman, I wasn't sure I wanted to keep him. But now, even if I could pick any pet in the whole wide world, I wouldn't trade him. Not Norman. The end.